take a look at solving a decimal word problem using a linear equation of the form ax plus b equals c. In this problem it says for his long distance phone service, Tony pays a $5 monthly fee plus nine cents per minute. Last month, Tony's long distance bill was $14.27. For how many minutes was Tony billed? So your variable is going to be the number of minutes Tony was billed x equals um, number of minutes. So in this case, remember it's $5 per month. This is a, a rate that doesn't change. Plus an additional nine cents per minute. So basically, um, Tony's gonna be paying $5 plus, right, nine cents per every minute. Well. We don't know how many minutes, but we can use X to represent the number of minutes. So we're simply gonna say, we're gonna start with $5, we're gonna add nine cents per minute. Now, this is in dollar notation, so we need to put our cents in dollar notation as well. So we're gonna call that 0.09X. And then in the problem it says that last month he paid $14.27. So you just need to set this equal to $14.27 and then solve this equation for x. So in order to solve this equation for x, you would subtract five from both sides. Okay, and so you get 0.09x equals $9.27. And then you're going to um, need to divide both sides by 0.09. Okay, and so let's see, I can do that by hand or I'm going to do this on the calculator. $9.27 divided by 0 0.09 and that gives me 103. So that means that he's, um, he was on the phone for 103 minutes. All right, here's another example. In this example, Susan received a $70 gift card for a coffee store. She used it to buy some coffee that costs $8.66 per pound. After buying the coffee, she had $35.36 left on her card. How many pounds of coffee did she buy? Okay, so this question right here helps us to determine what our variable is again. So x equals the number of pounds of coffee. Um, Susan starts with $70, but then she buys some coffee at $8.66 per pound. Okay. Now, and then when she's done, she'll have $35.36 left on the card. Oops. Sometimes I have a hard time writing on this thing. Today just happens to be one of them. Okay, so here we go. So if you start with $70 and you take away how much sh she spent, that would equal $35.36. So we figure out how much she spent by taking the $8.66 per pound and timesing it by the number of pounds of coffee that was bought. Okay, so now you have this equation here. So you need to solve this equation. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract 70 from both sides. All right, so when we subtract 70 um, from 35.36, we get a negative $34.64, and that's gonna equal a negative 8.66x. So we're gonna divide both sides by a negative 8.66. That gives us a positive four. Okay, so it looks like Susan bought four pounds of coffee. 